Let's assume that the first term of the arithmetic progression is a and the common difference is d. Therefore, the arithmetic progression is a, a plus d, a plus 2d and so on a plus m minus 1 times d is the mth term. The m plus 1th term is a plus md and so on. Therefore, the sum of the first m terms of this arithmetic progression is equal to m upon 2 times in brackets the sum of the first term and the mth term that is a plus a plus m minus 1 times d. And this is equal to m upon 2 times in brackets 2a plus m minus 1 times d. Now the next n terms of this series are starting with the m plus 1th term which is a plus md then followed by a plus m plus 1 times d followed by a plus m plus 2 times d and so on and the nth term of this series is a plus m plus n minus 1 times d and the next p terms of the original series are the m plus 1th term which is a plus md followed by a plus m plus 1 times d followed by a plus m plus 2 times d and so on and the pth term of this series is a plus m plus p minus 1 times d. Now the sum of the next n terms mentioned above is equal to n upon 2 times in brackets the first term of that series which is a plus md plus the last term of that series which is a plus m plus n minus 1 times d and this is equal to n upon 2 times in brackets 2a plus 2md plus n minus 1 times d which can also be written as n upon 2 times in brackets 2 times a plus md plus n minus 1 times d. Similarly, the sum of the next p terms mentioned above is equal to p upon 2 times in brackets the sum of the first term of the series and the last term of that series that is a plus md plus a plus m plus p minus 1 times d and this is equal to p upon 2 times in brackets 2a plus 2md plus in brackets p minus 1 times d and this can be written as n upon 2 times in brackets 2 times a plus md plus p minus 1 times d. Now we are given that some of the first m terms is equal to some of the next n terms which in turn is equal to some of the next p terms. Substituting these values obtained above, we get m upon 2 times in brackets 2a plus m minus 1 times d is equal to n upon 2 times in brackets 2 times a plus md plus n minus 1 times d is equal to p upon 2 times in brackets 2 times in brackets a plus md plus p minus 1 times d. Let's assume that all of these terms are equal to lambda upon 2. 2 cancels 
across all the terms and we can write 2a plus m minus 1 times d as equal to lambda upon m. Let's call this equation 1. Similarly, 2 times a plus md plus n minus 1 times d is equal to lambda upon n. Let's call this equation 2. And finally, 2 times in brackets a plus md plus p minus 1 times d is equal to lambda upon p. Let's call it equation 3. Now, equation 1 minus equation 2 implies that 2a plus m minus 1 times d minus in brackets 2 times a plus md plus n minus 1 times d is equal to lambda upon m minus lambda upon n. Taking d common across all the remaining terms, we get d times in brackets m minus 1 minus 2m minus in brackets n minus 1 is equal to lambda upon m minus lambda upon n. The left hand side simplifies and is equal to d times in brackets minus m minus n and this is equal to lambda upon m minus lambda upon n or minus d times m plus n is equal to lambda upon m minus lambda upon n. Let's call this equation 4. Similarly, equation 1 minus equation 3 implies that 2a plus m minus 1 times d minus in brackets 2 times a plus md plus p minus 1 times d is equal to lambda upon m minus lambda upon p. 2a cancels on the left hand side and taking d common amongst the remaining terms we get d times in brackets m minus 1 minus 2m minus in brackets p minus 1 is equal to lambda upon m minus lambda upon p. Now the left hand side simplifies and we get d times minus m minus p is equal to lambda upon m minus lambda upon p or minus d times m plus p is equal to lambda upon m minus lambda upon p. Let's call this equation 5. Now equation 4 divided by equation 5 implies that minus d times m plus n divided by minus d times m plus p is equal to lambda upon m minus lambda upon n divided by lambda upon m minus lambda upon p. Minus d cancels on the left hand side and lambda cancels on the right hand side. Cross multiplying we get m plus n times 1 upon m minus 1 upon p is equal to m plus p times 1 upon m minus 1 upon n which is the required result.